Hi, my name is Tammy. Welcome to Math Kit Tutor. Here's a little activity that you can have fun um, using area. You have one of your game boards, it's called area, so you just slip it inside your dry erase cover and you can do some cards. Let's review the formulas for just a moment. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So that would be the bottom known as length or it can be the base. So one, the longest side is usually length. The shortest side is the width. So length times the width equals the area. You can practice that by taking the length times the width is 72. Now each side you would, um, if it's inches, then it would be 72 square inches. Okay, you can practice again. Uh, the shorter side is the width and the longest side is the length. So this would be three times two is six square inches. So you can just practice that till the student gets it in their head. With a square, just pretend that each side is equal. So you would just need one side and then you would square it. So three times three, which would be the same as the length times the width, but it would also be S squared or side squared. So this is the area of the square equals S squared and that would equal nine. So you can practice squaring the side. All the sides are the same. So six times six is 36 and eight times eight is 64. Sometimes instead of doing worksheets, the kids actually having something to touch and to visualize, it's just more fun. So it's a good way to learn. Now uh, you can teach that a triangle is basically the same thing. You still have a rectangle, but it's cut in half. So you can do two sides. The longest side would be your base, so that's five. And then the height would be four, uh, but you're only using half of the rectangle. So five times four is 20, and then cut it in half. So you got 10, 10 square inches, or 10 square centimeters, or whatever value. So you can practice that. Six times five is 30, cut it in half, 15. Now you can move on to a circle, and you can measure the radius. The radius would start from the center of your circle and be right here. Let's say that you measure and your radius is one. So you take the radius squared, which is one times one times 3.4, which is still 3.14. So that is 3.14. And then the next one is seven. So seven squared is 49 times 3.14. And in your kit, you have a calculator or you can do this by hand on another, your other scratch board that comes with your kit. So you can just practice that. I also included the circumference, which would be two times R. So instead of doing seven times seven is 49 and squaring it for the area, you would do two times seven, which is the radius. Uh, seven would be here plus another seven. So you got 14 times pi or 14 times 3.14. So that's a little fun with area and circumference. I also included the perimeter here, which is two times the length and two times the width. So two times the length, length would be the biggest one, that's seven. So you got two times seven is 14. Two times the width is eight. So 14 plus eight, you can use the scratch pad and it is 22 all the way around. Uh, just teach them it's like a fence going all the way around a yard. Have fun with that and enjoy your math kit. Thank you.